Today you'll be learning how to name minor key signatures. So review. First you have to know where law is. Here's how you get there. Last sharp in the key signature is always T. We're trying to find law, so we're going to go down one because here's T. Below that is law. So if we have this key signature, law is here. In this example, law is here. In this example, law is here. Okay, that's our starting point for this lesson. Now we're going to name it. So, what's the letter name of this note? It's D. Here's what you're going to do to come up with the name of the minor key signature. You're going to look at the sharps you have here. Are D's sharped in this key signature? Yes, because that is a D sharp. If you need a quick way to figure this out, um, you can use the saying that I like to use with sharp key signatures, which is Farmer Charlie's Great Dane always eats birds. Those are all the possible sharps you can have. So you can just quickly go through if you're thinking, oh, is, are D's sharped? Farmer Charlie's Great Dane, Dane, D, yes. So because D's are sharped in this key signature, we're going to call it D sharp minor. If D's were not sharped, we would not say D sharp minor. We would say D minor, but they are sharp. So we're going to call this D sharp minor. All right, here's our law. What letter name is that? It's an E. Okay, now we go to the key signature, which is this right here. We're going to check to see if E's are sharped. And no, they are not because that's an F sharp, farmer. So we're going to call this E minor. Don't say E sharp minor because there are no E sharps in this particular key signature. There's only an F sharp, so we're going to call it E minor. Law is F. Check the key signature. Are F's sharped in this key signature? Yes, they are. That is an F sharp right there, so we're going to call this F sharp minor. Important word about accidentals. The sharps or flats in the key signature affect all octaves of that note. For example, here is an F sharp in a key signature. It's on the top line. But all of the Fs, including the one that's down here on the bottom space, all of the Fs in all of the octaves are automatically sharped by this F sharp. So this one is sharped. This is an F, it's sharped. Here's a super high F, it's sharped. Here's a super low F, it's sharped. All of the Fs and all the octaves are sharped. So if there is a sharp on the note you're calling Do in any octave, you have to put the word sharp in your answer. All right. Flats. Our rule is the last flat is Fa. We're trying to find La. To get from fa to la, we need to go up to fa so la. Okay, so that's our starting point for what we're doing today. Naming. Okay, letter name of this note is F. We go to the key signature. Our F's flatted in this key signature. Uh, for flats, the saying that I like to use is bead, as in like the bead on a necklace. Bead, grandma's chicken farm. I don't know why I use that one, but that's just what I learned way, way back in the day. So we have B E A D. No, F's are not flatted in this key signature. So we're going to call it F minor. Don't say F flat minor. That's wrong. All right, here's La. The letter name of that note is C. Our C is flatted in this key signature. B E A. No, they are not. So we call this C minor. Don't say C flat minor. That's the wrong answer. 
Last example, here we go. There's our law, that's an A. Go to the key signature, our A is flatted. Well, a whole lot of things are flatted. B, E, A, D, Grandma's Chicken Farm. So yes, A's are flatted. So we're gonna call this A flat minor. The end.